Welcome back, everyone. So this was the breaking news this week that Pfizer is hoping to roll out its COVID-19 vaccine to young kids by Halloween. Just this week, the first results from its trials showed the vaccine is safe and effective in kids 5 to 11 years old. Kids all over the world, though, are still being monitored to see if those results hold true. They're in clinical trials. I talked with a mom who has three kids involved in a trial about her experience and why they were so eager to take part. Dance, baseball, swimming, school, homework, and a vaccine trial? Meet the Hendricks family. Five kids ranging from 15 months old to 13. Mom Cicely and Dad Scotty are Jacksonville natives, but just moved to Memphis. They enrolled the kids in a new school, and just last week, they enrolled three of five of the kids in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine trial. Well, I actually just saw an article where um, a woman had her three children in, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be great. So she made a call to St. Jude Children's Hospital, and... We literally were the last three in the country to enter the trial. Cicely has worked in biotech pharmaceutical sales for 20 years and understands drugs don't get to the public without clinical trials. She wanted her family to be part of protecting others from this deadly virus. It was super important um, to be on this side of history, A, because, um, I mean, we want to let everybody know that this vaccine is safe. Her oldest son, Trip is 13, and he's already been vaccinated. As for nine-year-old Stone and eight-year-old Seven, they had to agree to participate, and they can pull out at any time. Once I explain to them the importance of, you know, what this vaccine means to the world um, and how we, you know, as a people should be looking to protect others, they were all in. 15-month-old Slade put up the biggest fuss. Hers was mostly because there was blood drawn, um, there was a lot of other things that, you know, happened prior to getting the injection. And she was like, okay, listen, I'm over it. <laughs> it's a double blind placebo controlled study. The researcher nor the families know if the kids even got the vaccine. They will be monitored for a year. And when the vaccine is approved, Cicely says they'll be first in line to get it. The research has been done. The research has been proven. It's been almost 20 years of research for this um, particular molecule that is going into this vaccine. So just talk to your healthcare provider. But what we do is we want to get on the other side of this pandemic. And the only way to do that is for people to be vaccinated. You know, taking part in clinical trials, if you've never done it, it is a commitment. Yeah. So Cicely has to monitor the kids for a year, mm -hmm. record any side effects, and then they have to check in with researchers as well. But she does point out how important it is to have a diverse population yeah. in these clinical trials so that you know how it reacts in everyone's body. So is there a reason she decided to enroll three of the five and not yeah. all the kids out so, of curiosity? So it's interesting. Her 13-year-old already vaccinated, fully vaccinated. Right. But right. then the four-year-old, his cohort, that age group was already full, mm -hmm. so she couldn't get him in it. But again, and she did say they will have access to the vaccine before other people will. So when it is released to the public, they're going to make sure that they because they have don't know it, right. right or get sure. it. Yeah, wow. interesting. It'd be great to follow them. Mm -hmm. See how yeah. this process goes for them. It's, all it's about really, it. really interesting.